So what is going on guys, Nanoprints93 here with another video and today is an awesome one because we did just hit 10k subs. So what does that mean for you guys? So, so the developer of Shift Screen is actually partnering with me on this video to give away a brand new 2020 iPad Pro 11 inch 128 gigabyte variant. We're giving that away to you guys and all you have to do is like this video, sub the channel and then follow the link in the description. It'll be the first link in the description. Hit that link and it'll give you instructions on exactly what to do. Basically what we're trying to do here is give you guys the most opportunities to win. So every day you have an opportunity to re-enter and the more entries you put in, obviously the higher the chances are that you're going to win the iPad Pro. We're going to run it for two weeks. So July 21st, 9 a.m. Eastern, we will announce the winner and the giveaway starts live right now when you're watching this video, guys. So definitely take a shot at your chance to win an iPad Pro. This channel was 100% built on an iPad Pro, so I want to be able to give that back to you guys. And Huge shout out to Shift Screen for basically sponsoring this video and wanting to give back to you guys for helping not only myself, but him out as well. And I know we have a lot of new subscribers, so I've released a video on Shift Screen, I believe it was version 2.0 when it released about five months ago, and now we're on version 3.0. So just to give you guys a quick rundown as to what Shift Screen is and why the application was even created, if you guys are iPad Pro users, which most of you guys probably are if you're watching my channel, you know, you guys know that when you plug an external monitor onto the iPad Pro, if you guys see behind me, you're greeted with the infamous black bars on a secondary display and you're also limited to only using a mirror display. So whatever is on the actual iPad Pro is what shows up on the secondary monitor. But with Shift Screen, it allows you to bypass that. Now, obviously it's not a perfect solution and it's not exactly what we would want it to be and it's not really the same as having something on Mac OS or Windows and having a secondary monitor in terms of in terms of windows floating around and being able to manipulate it to however you want to, but shift screen is pretty much the best or the closest thing we have to that awesome situation, right? So this is what shift screen looks like. I'm gonna dive into it a little bit more, but I do wanna show you guys a trailer for shift screen 3.0, which we'll start right now, guys, and we'll dive into shift screen 3.0 and uh, what some of the main differences are and how you can kind of use this app to make your life that much better and really utilize a secondary monitor Ideally, how we want to, right? As opposed to how Apple wants to. So let's hop right into it, guys. All right, guys, so I wanted to give you a first-hand look of, as to what Shift Screen is, how it works, how to open it up, and what the different kinds of functions you have, and essentially how it's going to make your life a little bit easier, right, when it comes to using a secondary monitor with your iPad Pro. So this is what you're greeted with, right? Right now, I'm going to show you guys, I have the iPad Pro. So I have a USB-C cable that's connected to this USB-C dock, and then from this dock, there's an HDMI cord that goes into, the, into here. So that's how you guys know that I'm actually using Shift Screen. And just to get, give you an idea, if you unplug this, the screen goes black, plug this back in, and you can see that we're up and running. But now, as you can see, we are greeted with the black bars. And normally, if you go into any, any application, black bars, you're greeted with black bars no matter what. So, so far, the only way to get rid of these black bars that I've seen is to use this app called Shift Screen. And I've been working really closely with the developer of Shift Screen over the last few months just to kind of iron out a couple of things that would make the experience that much better. But I do want to walk you through how to actually use the application how to open it up and how to and how to get started with everything. So when you go into, this is the shift screen app. So when you open it up, you can tell that the entire screen, at least the secondary monitor, is, is taken over by this purple backdrop. So right now it's empty and you can see that on the iPad itself, you have two options, right? Open a new window or do a search. And this is what you're greeted with. So if you go into open a new window, I'm going to open up a Microsoft Office and if you attach a new window, then this is what you're greeted with. And you can see that, yes, it's still mirroring, but I'm mirroring without the black bars. So I'm going to type this in. 
So I am still mirroring it, but I'm mirroring it without the black bars, right? And you can see that it's going all the way across and it works. You can see that there's a normal mouse. You can, let's say for instance, I wanna go and open up an Excel file, right? And you can see that it works not only with the trackpad, but also with an external mouse that I have right here. And the typing also works with the keypad or with the keyboard. So this is just an example. And as you guys can see, you can edit and work on any documents. It works just as anything else would. You can highlight. It's a, it's a great little tool to really maximize how much screen real estate you want, right? So for instance, all right, so we have one open. If you wanna open up another one, then all you do is you go to this bottom right and you go to this little corner. So create a new window. And then for instance, I wanna open up browse all. Let's open up YouTube studio, attach a new window. And then I have a second window open right there that has all the latest, you know, my YouTube studio statistics and things like that. So I'm able to use two things at once. And now you're asking, Hey, this is still just mirroring the display. And then the beauty about shift screen is that if I scroll down here, you get the normal iPad pro doc. And if I want to, let's say, open up Twitter and use it as a iPad pro app, you can see that now I've opened Twitter. And I still have shift screen over here and I'll look at the secondary monitors. The secondary monitor is not showing Twitter. It's showing the original Excel file that I have open over here, which I can still use, right? For instance, if I want to do a little equation, right? Three, three, four, and then equals the sum of here through here close that up, press enter. And then you have the equation that's still working. I can still interact with the YouTube studio app. And then I also have Twitter right here that I'm interacting with normally. And then no matter how little you make shift screen, it still opens up. Now, if you get rid of shift screen totally on here, then it'll go back to the normal black bar situation. But now what I want to show you about shift screen is the functionality and how to actually use it as a actual productivity tool, not just a novelty application, right? So this is a great situation. If you're big into Microsoft Office 365, you can use the web portal for all the different Microsoft Office apps. And that's amazing, right? If I want to keep adding, you know, create a new window, a website, attach a new window, I can just go into the tool, the search bar, say ESPN.com. And it takes me to ESPN.com, right? And then a couple of new things with shift screen 3.0 that weren't there before, were first off the actual URL bar. So if you guys can see up here, these URL bars used to not be there, right? You need, it used to be kind of tricky to actually type in the URL and know what you were typing, but now that's tight. Now it's there and you can do it in real time, right? So you can see, I clicked on there. Let's go on youtube.com, type it in. I'm in YouTube. You can see on the right hand side, another thing that changed that's really nice is how you resize the windows. If you guys can see with iPad OS, if I drag a Twitter, move it over here, iPad OS has this little bar in the middle. You can kind of move back and forth, right? So what shift screen did was they adopted the same exact thing. They have these little bars right here that I can just grab and move over and resize and it resizes it live. And then there you go, right? So I have YouTube studio, YouTube, and then Excel also, right? And then another thing that was added was a YouTube video player. There was a lot of issues with the YouTube video player originally, but now all you have to do is press play down here and all of a sudden the video is playing. Right now there's no audio because there's no audio from the monitor itself. There's no speakers built into it. So that's why there's no audio coming out. But just rest assured that if you have a speaker or a Bluetooth speaker that's connected to a monitor or an iPad Pro, the actual audio will come through. So that's one thing to take, take into account. And then another cool thing that was added was on the bottom, if you see down here, there's a one and a two. What this does is just like in Mac OS, where you can kind of move in between different pages and different desktop views. So this just gives you another actual desktop views. Basically what this does is gives you a secondary view of another cluster of websites or files that you're using, right? So for instance, on the first one, I have these three. And then on the second page, let's say I go back to ESPN. So that'll always stay there. And then this will come here. And then that's what you're dealing with, right? Another few things that I do want to show you guys is you can also open a Safari. You can use your iPhone as a trackpad. You can save bookmarks. You can change the window scale, which is nice. And then in the settings menu, you can go through the actual tutorial, which lets you, and then if you go into the settings menu, it shows you what the monitor size is that you have. And this does give you up to 4k resolution, which is a beautiful thing to, to just deal with right off the bat. Right? So those are the things that you're dealing with when it comes to shift screen. Again, it's not the absolute ideal situation that we want when it comes to secondary monitor support on iPad pro, but this is by, by far the best solution we have to get again, to get rid of those black bars, to be able to use a secondary monitor 
as more of a productivity tool instead of just a viewing tool, which is what we have it as now. That's what we're dealing with when it comes to shift screen. You have the two windows, like I said, here and here. You can have four different websites up at the same time. Here I have three, so we can max out on four and you can have four on each one of the views. So like I said, so you can technically have up to eight different websites open. You can also open files and PDFs, which is really, really nice outside or inside of a, from your files app. So you can see I just opened a random file that was in my files app so I can view it and use it how I want, need it to be used, right? You can move it around, zoom in, zoom out, look at exactly what it looks like. So that's a nice thing that you can also look at. So if you just need data consumption and have something up that you need to look at at a bigger screen real estate or bigger screen, you also have that option, guys. So that's shift screen in a nutshell. Let's hop back to the normal view. So that is pretty much gonna do it for this video, everybody. Like I mentioned, use the link below to enter the giveaway for an iPad Pro 2020 giveaway. Like I said, it's gonna be a brand new iPad Pro. We're running the giveaway for two weeks. The only thing that you can choose is the different color. Other than that, you're stuck to the 128 gigabyte version, 2020 11 inch uh, variant. Uh, just to let you guys know, this is the 12.9 version, so it'll be a little bit smaller. But again, totally free. Just hit the link to enter the giveaway. Don't forget to like this video, sub to the channel, and good luck to all of you guys. But again, huge thank you for everybody that subscribed to the channel. We're at 10K, and that's only the beginning. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Help these videos grow, help the channel grow. And until next time, guys, and we'll continue to do giveaways like these the faster that the channel grows. But until next time.